Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we discussed about the product section. So here we have uh, done so far how to add the products. So when you add the products, you will be able to see the table below. You will be able to get the product details. So what you're going to do is, yeah, I haven't explained yet, right? So product details, so you can see the after upload the image, you will be able to see the image will be coming here like this way, right? So now I'm going to go to at another product. Uh, imagine washing machine like this categories washing machine something description price to sell click on this and choose the image click the register button it the item has been registered we will be able to see it right simple right now what you're going to do is so how to do the things simply i have go to my here second update here when you upload the image this is coming here public folder inside the public folder images inside the images you will be able to see right so you can go over here after upload the image you have to when the product is when the page is loaded product page is loaded this table will be loaded so first what you are going to do is we have done it here first what i did here is first we have to call these two things product controller product model and category model because we have to make the relationship product and category okay so product and category so here product table here product and category we have already made the relationship so what i did here is here we have to give the path of the models and category model path okay so here this is the model okay so model okay you have create the object products so we have create the index function inside index function we have to load the, all the product details so through this model this object we have to call the, all the product details to be loaded and passing to over here after that you can see here the all the product details should be loaded but load details should be coming uh fly shop this one you can see here details should be coming like this way in category id id but instead of the id i want to display as the image sorry name so we have tried the category model yeah we are we, we already made the relationship that then we will be able to see here yeah one category belongs to many products okay so we have already made the relationship so we have to use this plug keyword the plug and we have to get the instead of getting the id we need a name so it loaded and over here after that we have to these two things we have loaded and returned the view as a page inside the pages folder product index so so we have these two variables we call as a compact like this way so when you load the page it goes to product page index play dot php here this page so you have to give, mention it over here products pages product index so goes to this page this is a table here made it right table is consist of this is a id auto increment id product name category price image and action action there will be the two choice edit and delete so here after that in the t body you can see the t body you will be able to see here we have to write the for each loop so here what the things we have did it here we have to get the details how to get the details you have to get the details over here so you can see get the details here it's a products it should be match with the same name then only it will work this product okay so it's, it's a plural we have to get it as singular first you have to get the product name so product category so here category instead of the category id we have to select as category name should be displayed as a table so how to make the relationship here you can see how to make the relationship over here go to the model product model section here there is a category you made the relationship okay one uh, here uh, product belongs to one category so here so the category you have the same name this name you have to go to this table and get this name okay so that's how we have made the relationship over here product and category category after the price after the image so when you when the image is display 
over here what i did is we give the appropriate path where your image is resided so if the image is there we have to put the uh, image the image is not there we have to display as a default image right so that's the thing we have to do it over here uh, default image you have set it as a default image uh, uh, this one the default image okay this image i just copy so here yeah, this one i just make a copy i'm going to put it in my public inside the public folder there is an image folder here i'm going to sorry here i'm to right click this public folder you have to uh, reveal in file explorer inside the public folder there is images you have to put it over here right so there is there is no image the default image will be displayed right so if if, if the product uh doesn't have an image in the future we have to update the image we have to set as a default image right that's things we have to do this is an efficient way to do the program so the uh, images doesn't uh, uh don't have an image you have to put it as a default image so here when the data is coming product photo product photo means a product photo if the photo is not available it is coming here default image will be stored if it is available, it scores a particular uh, location. Assets, we have to put the assets. We have to write called assets. Here the images. So images, which take us as a completely public image. So it's public. Here we have an image. What the image name coming here? What the name of the image coming here? It get the particular image and show it to you. So we have to give the mention the width 100. It will be shown according to the width you have gave, right? That's how the if the image doesn't have it goes the else path and it will be it will be execute your default image. So default image will be executed. It will be displayed, right? That's a simple stuff we have to do, it, right? After that, this is the edit. This is a delete section. You will be able to edit this product and delete the product. Okay, that's simple stuff here. I hope you guys you understood things well, how to display the image. Right, very simple. If the image exists, this image is loaded. If the image uh, doesn't exist, default image. So let's do the thing is you, have, you can understand. So I'm going to uh, do the TV. Nine, this is uh, this one. TV description. 80,000. There's a no, no image. Click register button here. It's a default image, but what is not showing? The default image is display. The default image is display, but it's what is not showing. Sorry, the problem is here. This image is here. The default image you have to change rename as default. Here, that's why the problem. Now let's coming and see. Here, now it's, here, it's a default. Now you have to write the same name you have to get this default image. So you have to set that as default. If the name should be different, it, it won't work. Okay. Different should be worse. Okay, so here when when you when, when the product doesn't have an image, the default image has been displayed. Now we have a clear understand how to do the thing. This is very much when we are doing the system. If the project uh, may have image, some other product may not have image. That time you have a good knowledge about this is the things we have to uh, validate. So how to validate the photo? This is a very simple stuff you have to make. So I have already explained my next video tutorial how to upload the photo. Right? These all the things you have to go through this one. Okay. So why I again again explain this is very must so that I have to uh, put the short video and explain. Then you have to. You not skip the video. You can explain what I explain. You, you just go through that video, and you have to follow the step and you have to do the program. Right? Follow the step, do the project. Uh, I'll be seeing my next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.